What are you gonna do? I'm telling the right wing now. What are you gonna do? We're British citizens. We're born in the. We're born in the West. We're born in the West. What are you gonna strip our passport? You gonna deprive us of our citizenship? Is that what you wanna do? You wanna kick us out? Go on, then do it. I wanna see that happen. Try that. The fact that they're attacking random black people on the road, random sisters wearing hijab, random Muslims, random Pakistani uncle walking down the street with his groceries. Your problem isn't actually illegal immigration. Your problem is actually that you're a failure in life. You know, one principle is this. I'll tell you what. Don't interrupt an enemy when they're making a mistake. These guys have been telling us all along that it's black people that are violent, that it's Muslims that are violent. Now they're going out and looting. They're stealing stuff from the shop. They're stealing alcohol from the shop. They're stealing crops from the shop. <laughs> Bro, I saw one Bro. picture of one of them was stealing crops from the shop. Bro, there's even more than this. Bro, how do you have a guy? <laughs> how do you have crocs? Crocs, yeah? crocs? Bro, how do you have a guy, Tommy Robinson? The child is stealing a crop. Bro, how the shop. That's not his name, by the way. Stephen Bro. Laxley Steve, Lennon. Stephen, Stephen Lennon. 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 Come on, Chav. Bro, how do you how do you guys have on, a guy yes. sitting on a resort going like this? Yeah. Right? Is he doing that? Orchest in Cyprus. He's having a cheeky pint. Or or orchestrating all of this and you lot are doing his He's spreading work. all five foot two work. inch of his body on the on the beach chair, yeah? And, you're, and, and he's you're not even occupying the entire beach chair when he's doing that because he's, he's like half of the beach chair that he's spreading. This guy, this, yeah. the, the, this weasel, he has audacity to speak yeah. like... Yeah, it's Tommy Robinson guy, bro. Oh, yeah. He has audacity to speak yeah. and, and, yeah. and, and say cavemen. Bro, you guys are the people behaving like cavemen. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Bro, they're looting shoes yeah. on. Yeah. They're looting yeah. shoes on. It's BLM 2.0. You know? like, yeah. But it's, no one can say that Islamophobia doesn't exist. Because this right wing... Really seen it. Come on, bro. That's what it's all about. It's not really about it. Britain first. Forget, forget. I don't even call it Islamophobia. Just call it intolerance of Islamic Muslims. I think, I think we should... Call it what you want to call it. I think, bro, we have to speak about how this thing even started. Yeah. It started in Southport. Three oh, and and uh, bro, of course, yeah. like uh, such a disgusting barbaric act. Three, you know, yeah. innocent little babies, you yeah. know, little, little girls yeah. being killed like that. Bro, but what happened? Bro. People started. They started spreading these rumors. The far yeah. right started spreading these rumors. Yeah. This was done by yeah. uh, an immigrant, yeah. an illegal immigrant, yeah. and uh, somehow he ended up being a Muslim. Yeah. Yeah. And all of this, it comes yeah. out actually he's from a Christian background. Yeah. Actually, he's a British citizen. Uh -huh. Okay. And he's not an immigrant. He's not even an immigrant. And what happens is now they yeah. use it's bro, it's all about political agenda. They yeah, use this, agenda. they go, yeah, they, they start attacking it. a mosque. Where's the correlation? Where's the correlation? Where's the correlation between a mosque uh -huh. and this random Christian guy no, no who went and killed th th three people? There's no correlation. Where's the correlation between you know you know one of the things that they're saying right now, uh, Sneaker Bro? They're, they're saying, saying what this they saying? on on Twitter. One of the things that they're saying on X yeah, is that saying. this is about illegal immigration. Happening in the UK, is that illegal the immigration. Yeah. We are against illegal immigration. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem. Okay. So, okay. What, what? Why are you then yeah. going and attacking <laughs> innocent women and children? Yeah. Going and attacking uh, innocent women yeah. walking down the street. Yeah. Innocent men going and punching up. Yeah. They see a random black guy go yeah. and beat him up. Yeah. How do you know what what this yeah. guy's uh, status is? Yeah. It's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. That's it's right. absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And it's based. It started from misinformation. It started from ignorance. You, you know what I think? Uh, one of the things as well with a lot of reverts as well, just even generally on a general level, what people need to understand is when you become a Muslim, when you become a Muslim. Your guideline for things needs to become Islam. It's different. Right? It needs to become Islam. You're supposed to defend Islam as if it's greater than your mother, correct? That's yeah, it. Is that's that it, bro. Yeah. That's that's how you're we supposed are. to defend it as if it's uh, your. Fa you're supposed to love the Prophet more than that's your awesome. parents. Yeah. So and people disrespect that, and if they show and prove that they're enemies of that, you can't. Be like, bro, this, this guy people. Tommy Robinson. I'll give you an example. He 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 has said disgusting, vile things about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. No Muslim, bro. No Muslim. Imagine, bro, someone saying that uh, about your mom. Imagine someone is saying the worst thing. Your mom's a prostitute. Your mom's a hoe. Your mom is this. Your mom is that. And then you go and you sit next to him and you hug him and you say, you're my brother. Yeah. I mean, my he, to be fair, he you didn't see, sit next to him and hug him. But no, nevertheless, no, no. I, I'm not necessarily. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. generally. I'm saying. Yeah. So, so you can't do that as yeah. a Muslim. Like, yeah. you, you can't. You can't be friend, that. You, can't, you have to be. Friendship. you got to be harsh. How do you think that Islam can coexist with Western values? How do you see this, this going forward? I mean, we're seeing what happened in the UK right now. Uh, there's obviously some growing resentment towards that in the, the growing Islamic population. Yeah. How could the two coexist? What are you going to do? Now, forget about her. Forget this question. This question is always it's, it's defensive. I have to be defending myself. What are you going to do? I'm telling the right wing now. What are you going to do? We're British citizens. We're born in the... We're born in the West. We're born in the West. What are you going to do? Strip our passport? Are you going to deprive us of our citizenship? Is that what you want to do? You want to kick us out? Go on then. Do it. I want to see that happen. Try that.
Try that, we'll see what happens. Come on, let's try it. it what are you going to do exactly? What, what do you want to happen? Because at the end of the day, we're British citizens. We live in Britain, mm -hmm. okay? We're a minority in Britain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have our own interests in mind. Yeah, whatever. Do your thing. Uh, if you want to, if you're trying to harm us, harm us. Uh, try and harm us. I've got a problem. Whatever, man. You know, at the end of the day, what are you going to do? You're going to try and kick us out with 5 million people. Has that ever happened in, in modern history where you kick 5 million people out? Is that even a realistic target? You're not going to be able to achieve that. They would have to change their constitution. Britain would have to change its constitution fundamentally. Right. Right. If you can do that, achieve it, do it. If not, then shut, shut up. Shut up and be quiet because you're going to have to live with us. And that's the reality. You're going to just have to live with us. Yeah? Yes. You're going to have to live with us. You're, you're the one. You're going to have to coexist with us. It's not we have to coexist with you. You have to coexist with us. It's you that have to coexist with us. We have to coexist with you. No, no. You have to coexist with us. That's it. It's done now. I've, I've, you've got two options. Kick us out. Try and forcibly kick us out. Or you have to coexist. That's it. Simple as that. Look, because they, they say it's about illegal, uh, illegal immigration, right? Right. That's what they're saying. Okay. Let's stop illegal immigration. No problem. Let's stop people coming in on boats. No problem. Let's yeah. do that. Okay. Do you think these EDL, these far right people, uh, are going to be happy with that? Mm -hmm. No. They, it, you know, in Birmingham a couple of years ago, one of the, one of these men, you know, one of these uncles was killed, bro. The fact that they're doing uh, Islamophobic attacks like this, it shows you, bro, that, bro, your problem isn't actually illegal immigration. Your problem is actually that. You're a failure in life. Mm. You have yellow teeth. Mm -hmm. You don't, you, you know, you need to go to the dentist. Mm. Your problem is you're unqualified. Mm. Your problem is that you have a very, very low IQ. Mm. Your problem is that, you know, you, you see your doctor, he's driving a nice car and he's an Asian man and he's flown in from Afghanistan <laughs> or Pakistan and he's done, done better than you and you just don't like that. Mm. On, honestly, for, for, for many people, that's that that well, seems to be the issue. If your issues with immigration, that seems to be. Have your issue. Do your thing. No, no. So stop care. illegal immigration. Okay. I don't care. Okay, bro. I don't care. Do you think I'm fighting for like, we, but, no but, but why the racist? Why the racist rhetoric? Like why the racist rhetoric for? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like why do you have to be racist for? Why do you have to speak in such a manner? And then they got these token guys that are just standing with them, like yeah. this random brown guy who's confused, yeah. standing with Tommy Robinson. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing. That. Random black guy in the corner, like just fifty dollars to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. Oh, it's, it's nonsense bro anyone who looks at this who's got half a brain just sees these guys are idiots they're racist they, they, they their, their mission is just, it's not about illegal immigration because look the fact is look look bro once again look at how this thing started bro this guy random he's a british citizen bro he went and killed these three kids why are you at a mosque why are you at a mosque for why are you breaking down a mosque you see this passport mm. i want you to take this away from me I want, that's, that's the challenge. Come and take it from me. Come and fight me for it. Standard. If you're saying that you don't want me to be in your country, if that's the issue, deport him. Like, Come and take it. Come and take it. And there's 5 million of these, by the way. There's 5 million. Imagine 5 million. I just want you to imagine 5 million passports for a second. Imagine 100 passports. Then imagine 200. Now imagine 1,000. Now imagine 10,000. Now imagine 5 million of these. You think they're all going to be deprived? That's a lot of passports. You think these all... Is, is that a reasonable thing? Do you think you're going to achieve that objective? They're not going to okay, that, okay. They're... Go and do it, please. I would like to see. Because if that's your objective, you are going to fail. And you know what, this guy, Tommy Robinson, I really hope, I hope when he flies back into the UK, because eventually he's going to have to, I hope they arrest him at the border and throw that guy in prison. Because what this guy, what he has been doing on social media is reckless, to say the least. Is reckless. He can do it as well. He can continue. And yeah, he can continue. Please but continue. But, but but they're not going to let him. They're just going to throw him. In and that's why he's staying in Cyprus. That's why he's in Cyprus. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's truth in the fact that these. Why did these guys come on the street? Like, how did they even know to go in the street? It must have been through social media, right? Right. And who was the one who organized that? So they were saying. Who um, was the one who told them to go out in the street? So I was reading. Was there, there, Robinson, there, right? was some, there were some far right uh, telegram groups that were basically spreading information of these rallies. Um, who, one, who organized them? Well, one of the first people to actually propagate yeah. uh, the protests, these rallies, these riots, uh, was um, yeah. BBC were mentioning this a guy called Lord Simon on X. Is this true? Who's, who's directly associated with or who's associated with Tommy Robinson. Okay. Uh, so he was one of the people involved in. Um, you know, promoting these. So, because they must be somewhat. This organized, is what I was reading. Because they're coming to so, different places of the UK, right? Yeah. So who's no, organizing, of course, bro. Who's they, organizing them? So they were saying that there were Telegram groups. 
and on these and, telegram and who's, groups, who's in pushing these telegram groups, far right telegram groups. Who are the, who are the like chief organizers of these groups? Is it just different? Is it sporadic? Is it? De- I'm not sure. Is it decentralized? Yeah, free, Telegram is a pretty decentralized, like open platform. Okay, anybody can make it. So it's not like a hierarchy, like someone saying, "Go here, go there, go here, go there." It go might here. be. I don't know. But it, it is stirred up by the major figureheads on Twitter. Yeah, that's where a lot of that anger and outrage is. 